Hello everyone, welcome back to Microsoft Word Tutorials Only. You know where you are. This is your one-stop shop for everything Microsoft Word. I do only Microsoft Word tutorials here. If you have a special video request, feel free in commenting down below and I will post that video. Yesterday, I showed you guys how to add a glossary to a table and then I realized that at times, sometimes, you know, we add the table before we add the text. And that can be a bit complicated and a bit nerve-wracking, especially if you have a fully completed table. Now, this BOL, this is a bill of lading. It doesn't have a title right now, but for those who follow me here and watch all the videos, you would have known about this video tutorial where I show you how to create a bill of lading from scratch. Everything. It's a very detailed tutorial. So if you're a trucker, if you are someone who knows a trucker, feel free in sharing this BOL video with them. I'll stick it there in the cards or I'll put it in the description box down below. Let's get into the video. Now the best way to place text before a table is just to add the text before you insert the table. But in the case of this where the table is there and there is no text, this is what you'll do. We'll take our word mouse pointer and we will bring it to the very beginning of the very character, letter, number, word, whatever it is in the table. So that would most likely be your very first cell and you'll put it in front of everything. You'll go up to the insert bar and you'll click page break. It's that simple. Now this extra page came on here because I had put this table after the BOL that's not the purpose of this video let's not discuss that but when you do it on your end it will definitely work like that and let's just put bill of laden in the heading just to show you that this works very well So the answer to your problem is just inserting a page break and you'll have enough space to type anything that you need to type above that table. I hope this video was useful to you. Remember guys, I am on a goal for February to get to 1000 subscribers. If you're watching this video and you're not yet subscribed, you subscribing here to Microsoft Word Tutorials Only will help me achieve that goal and I'll be so indebted to you for doing that. Also remember to hit the notification bell beside the subscribe button so that when I make daily uploads, you'll be the first to know. I'll see you in tomorrow's video.